All right, influencer Keith Lee has been the talk of North Texas and the food scene here for a week. Yeah, and restaurants are seeing what's being called the Keith Lee effect. Yeah. Here's my chat with Dallas Morning News food writer Sarah Blaskovich. So, Sarah, it seems like one of the biggest stories, food stories of the week, is that TikTok influencer Keith Lee is eating at restaurants here in North Texas and he's posting videos about them. So, for anyone who's not familiar, tell us about him. Who is he? So Keith Lee is someone our food team is thinking about every hour of every day <laughs> this week. Mm -hmm. He has nearly 16 million followers on TikTok. He lives in Las Vegas, but he travels to a city and goes to a bunch of its restaurants. And he often asks his followers where he should eat before he gets there, which I think is pretty great. So far, he's visited half a dozen restaurants in Dallas and its suburbs. And according to a video, he is not done with Dallas yet. Ooh, okay. So where has he visited so far? All right, his first video was for Thunderbird Pies, a small pizza joint in East Dallas. Then he went to Terry Black's Barbecue in Deep Ellum, followed by Halal Fusions in Farmer's Branch. Then he loved Hutchins Barbecue in Collin County, and he raved about the food at Absolutely Edible Cakes in Rowlett. It's his sixth restaurant so far was a food truck called Sweetly Seasoned, where he apparently left a $4,000 tip. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so what does it mean when someone like Keith Lee visits Dallas restaurants. It means a lot, Christy. He is putting a spotlight on small businesses that some people haven't heard of. He's also a champion for black owned businesses and his reviews can send hundreds or thousands of new people to a restaurant. Now, while that's generally a great thing, some of these small businesses aren't quite equipped for those kinds of rushes. We call the aftermath of these videos, the Keith Lee effect. And we'll be talking about what that means for weeks to come in Dallas. Yeah. All right. So I know it's been a busy week with Keith Lee in yeah. town, uh, but we'd love to hear what else is going on. Yeah, um, I've got my eye on great date night spots because it's already February. So I've got a list of 15 romantic restaurants, either for Valentine's Day or just for a date anytime soon. And you can find that list on DallasNews.com slash food. Okay, fantastic. And one more thing, Sarah, Food Network chef Christian Petroni has taken a job in Dallas. So tell us what he'll be doing. Yes, anyone who watches Food Network probably knows Christian Petroni. He won a competition show called Food Network Star in 2018, and he's a regular judge on Chopped. That's a show I watch all the time. Uh, Christian is an Italian-American chef who lives in the Bronx, and he'll be spending time in Dallas working with Cane Rosso, Zoli's, and Thunderbird Pies. He's specifically excited about refining the red sauce on some of the pizzas and pastas, and some of those changes are already available if you visit Zoli's in Addison or Fort Worth. All right. Great to hear. Thanks so much, Sarah. We'll see you next week. Thank you.